Sorry for the interruption. You know everybody named my mom wanna call you while you doing something. <coughs> Ow. Hey y'all. So today we're going to be doing, uh, it's not a review, but top five. I think I'm gonna make that a series, like top five, top five, top five. Mm -hmm. As y'all know, we wear highlights all year round. Like we be in competition with the sun from January to December. But, you know, it is summertime. It is getting, you know, nice outside and you get your little shoulders out. You might have your little body lava on and all that jazz. So I just wanted to do a video on my favorite highlights right now at the moment. Keep in mind, this could change. It probably is going to change. New products come out all the time and I have so much highlight. One is brand new that I am wearing today. So. If you want to see my top five highlights, then just keep watching. Excuse me, I had to go get my makeup wipes because I have to swatch this for y'all. So I know I'm gonna be all on these arms. Just a quick note, like all of these highlights, um, it's like a range. So I have some that are high end, some that are low end. Like I think the cheapest one I have here is like three or five dollars. And then the most expensive one is like $30. All right, I feel like we should just start with the one I have on because I'm loving it. It's doing everything for me and I literally just cracked this open to do my makeup for this video and I was like <gasps> oh my gosh this is the NARS orgasm what do they call this illuminating loose powder okay so if you don't know orgasm blush by NARS is like a cult favorite for years and years and years after using this I actually do really want to go pick up the blush this is like the prettiest like rose gold highlight you have ever used and i feel like it looks really good specifically on brown skin now if you are fair skin i do feel like it is gonna show like a little rosy on your skin but for us brown girls like it's not really showing too much rosy as it's showing like a rose gold i even feel like if you wanted to you could try this like on your lids this is my favorite product from nars right now I don't care about that creamy concealer or none of that. This is the beeswax for me, okay? So, moving on. This is the e.l.f. highlight. It is the Apricot Glow, their baked highlighter. Now, you see this, you're probably like, girl, what is the big deal? Trust me, I thought the same thing. I like this more for like my everyday highlight. Like you can wear obviously like this NARS highlight every day and just be out here beaming, you know, but sometimes I wanna be a little bit more subdued but still have makeup on. Next to the NARS, how would I describe this? It looks more iridescent. It's definitely for sure more gold, um, but I feel like it has more of an iridescent vibe versus like NARS where it's just like, a shiny foil kind of highlight but it's still very pretty um, and it's inexpensive which is good and it also blends very well surprisingly this is um, a matchstick from Rihanna and I think y'all all know what shade this is rum so it has it's like obviously like a creamy texture like because it's like a stick but the minute that you put this on your skin it's kind of like a, those cream to powder formulas, like it blends out like a powder does. And it feels, it has a texture like a powder on your skin. I think it's the prettiest highlight. Um, and I wore this for probably like two to three months straight when Fenty first came out. Um, so the next to last one, it's kind of two, but I'm counting it as one, is the Shayla by ColourPop um her loose powder highlighters so i okay do y'all know is this pose or posse i feel like it's pose whatever it is pose and then she has boomin so boomin is like more so of like your yellow golds and then shayla or not Sh yes that's her name here shayla pose or posse is more of like a bronzy kind of rose gold mixed together the reason why i showed both of them is because typically when i wear them i do like to wear both of them together these are very glittery i will say but the pigment that girlfriend packed into these like she wasn't playing and also can we just talk about how much product homegirl gave you like this is a lot of product last but not least we have anastasia is it anastasia anastasia I usually just say Anastasia. 
the Amrezy collab that she did with Anastasia Be Beverly Hills. This is one I can truly say it is beautiful on all skin tones because I've seen it on all skin tones. It is a powder highlight. It does have a very creamy feel to it though. Like even when I rub my finger in here, like it's, it's a very soft, a very creamy look. This highlight, I like to call this more of a white gold. Like it's, it still has that bronzy, goldy undertone to where it's flattering on brown skin, but it has like that, like that light silveriness to it a little bit too, where it looks amazing on fair skin as well. If you have not seen Emreezy, girl slays a highlight. Like she stays with that nose twinkling, those cheekbones, she stays slaying a highlight. Those are all my highlights. Like I said, as always, I'll always have the links below for you. Hey, 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 hey. We have 300 subscribers, y'all. I told you guys, when we get to 500, I will do a big giveaway. Like, y'all remember the first giveaway I did? And I gave away, like, that full trunk case full of makeup. I'm gonna do that again. It might even be bigger. But once we get to 500, I will for sure do that. So tell your friends to subscribe. And then I also have another surprise coming up. I wanna say, in like a week or two. I'm not gonna give you an exact date because it's kind of tentative. But I do have another big surprise coming up. And it's something that everyone will be able to enjoy um so i'm really excited for that to tell you guys about it and i will do a special video for it when it happens so you guys will know okay don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time